Hello, I'm John Dries from Honorable Third Party, and this is The Art of Poor. When deciding what ship to use in PvP, it's important to consider your intended targets. Are you looking to catch unsuspecting haulers and ratters for profit? Are you trying to compete in direct combat against a region's response fleets? Or are you trying to defend your home region against invaders? The potential objectives are as varied as their possible solutions. But whatever the goal, the important thing is to be creative and not allow your enemy to anticipate exactly what you're up to. This applies to every aspect of EVE, from high-sec corporations to the largest null-sec fleet operations. The implications of this are wide-reaching, and once it is understood by a pilot to be part of the nature of EVE, they may begin to take advantage of it. This means that although there may be mathematically superior options available, sometimes it's more valuable to appear weak to your opponents. In this clip you can see I'm flying a cheetah fit as a black ops hunting ship. All settled NullSec regions use vast intel channels to report potentially dangerous pilots and ships to others in the area. Had I been flying a more common hunting ship like a recon or a T3 cruiser, it is likely that I would have caused additional suspicion and these two miners would have docked long before I arrived on grid with them. EVE is constantly being updated and balanced. The addition of T3 destroyers and more recently command destroyers took assault frigates, an already mediocre ship class, and left them with very few legitimate options. They also altered the fitting requirements for a number of modules in a process CCP has dubbed Tiracide. In a recent update, this made it so that compact afterburners have the same power requirements as their storyline counterparts. This means that for much less money than was previously possible, a pilot can fit cruiser-sized prop mods onto ships like a Jaguar. What this allows for is exceptional damage mitigation even against ships like the extremely popular Rapid Light Missile Caracal. This clip from the test server shows the Jaguar taking on a fairly standard fit Caracal and demonstrates how capable it is of weathering incoming damage, even against a ship essentially designed to destroy frigates. The Jaguar has some unique features that make it a viable option for use with cruiser-sized afterburners. It has a very high base speed and agility. 125mm autocannons have extremely low fitting requirements which leaves power grid for not only the oversized prop mod, but a fairly substantial tank for a frigate. Of course, the Jaguar isn't completely impervious. Newts and webs are still a danger to the ship, but this is where understanding common fits allows an experienced pilot to shine compared to someone still learning what most ships are capable of. The real question is, why would someone fly this instead of the Swipple? The Swipple is currently the undisputed champion of small ship combat transplanting almost this exact fit from the Jaguar onto a Swipple results in a ship that is literally superior in every way. The Swipple is faster, stronger, and has better power grid and CPU, allowing for larger guns and more DPS. It's even relatively equivalent in price. The Swipple is nearly idiot-proof. So what advantage does a pilot gain by utilizing an inferior ship? Their enemy's confidence. Pilots who run and dock can't be killed. Pilots who believe they will win are much more likely to engage. Appearing weak gives you the option of allowing targets to come to you. Your enemies misunderstanding your capabilities gives you an advantage. This combined with the ability to disengage because of the oversized prop mod results in above average survivability. Above average survivability can result in a level of efficiency that allows for financial stability when loot from your enemy's dead ships can be safely extracted and sold. Most T2 fit ships drop between 5 and 20 million isk on average. Safely extracting loot from just a few kills can buy a new ship. Quite often, faction fit ships and haulers will drop much more. Throw in an occasional ransom and you have a self-sustaining occupation. This may seem minuscule to pilots who participate in frequent PvE activities, but remember, a pilot funding themselves via PvP only requires enough isk for their next ship. The next few minutes of footage was captured during my first night flying this Jaguar fit. I begin alone, but shortly after meet up with some Alliance mates in other small ships, including two Bifrost and a Sabre. 
The footage begins with the solo fight against a Caracal pilot, confident in his ability to engage my frigate. You may have noticed that during this engagement I didn't even have to run my shield booster. This is because the pilot had fit heavy missiles instead of rapid light missiles. This drastically reduces the damage application and as you can see in the DPS graphs at the bottom left, the Caracal can only apply around 12 DPS to my ship at 44% of its top speed. The next clips include our gang killing ships in a variety of ways from standard attacks on PvE battleships that fail to run and hide and ships being MJD'd off stations while attempting to dock. Please enjoy. Sir. 
Thanks very much for watching. Please visit us at honorablethird.com and subscribe so you don't miss part two of The Art of Poor.